So here's the default landing page for eMotion. You see here the uh, default location of your UAV. This is just outside Tacloban in the Philippines, one of the hardest hit areas following Typhoon Haiyan. If we move over now to this tab, obviously the UAV is not airborne at the moment. It's idle and uh, ready for takeoff. Here you see amount of battery uh, power left, amount of time that your UAV has been airborne, the distance uh, from the takeoff position, as well as simulated uh, wind speed. The link quality refers to the connection between your laptop, basically your cockpit, and the UAV. Here are some flight data, just some obvious parameters in terms of ground speed, altitude, position. Instruments are very typical of any cockpit that you would see on any aircraft. You've got the bearings up here, the air speeds to your left, and altitude control here on uh, your right. First point to note here is that there is an airport here. And as we have read the Humanitarian UAV Network's Code of Conduct and Operational Checklist, we will assume that we've already gotten uh, written permission from air traffic control to fly our UAVs. In any event, it's worth noting that the aircrafts here will be uh, landing and taking off with this particular bearing. And so we will be staying just with this an area. And so certainly not crossing any of that uh, traffic. In any event, we've been told to fly uh, under 400 meters. Now moving towards Tacloban, and let's just zoom in here for a bit. And let's assume that the mayor of Tacloban has asked us to provide a high-resolution aerial image of this particular area of Tacloban. We're going to move in a bit further into Tacloban here, and we're going to look for a, an appropriate landing and takeoff uh, site. And this here looks like a good candidate. It is fairly devoid of infrastructure, has a long landing takeoff uh, area, flat, and so on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move our takeoff location to this specific area. And to do that, we simply click on this button right here. And we will, in fact, perhaps even launch the UAV out here in this pier just to be extra, extra careful. So that's now our takeoff location. Let me zoom out a bit. So now we have here basically the uh, landing spot for the UAV. But here we're going to want to actually land somewhere else. There's not much space here. It's close to water. We definitely don't want the UAV landing in water. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this handy function here and say, right, our home point we're actually going to move to right here because there is plenty of space to actually land the UAV. And we're going to assume that we've got some wind speed coming from up here north, coming from the ocean, which is quite typical. And we want to basically land against the wind. Uh, always keep that in mind. And so we'll come from here. The, the UAV will make its approach here, and you see the meters here referring to the altitude of the UAV as it's coming in for landing. And that seems like plenty of space. For the takeoff, we want to take off against the wind. So what we're going to do here is we're going to also move the takeoff location here. So again, we want to move into uh, fly and take off into the wind. So we'll basically have the UAV start there. And this is an important first, uh, what we call them, waypoints. And, and the reason we want to have the UAV uh, basically circle here is just to get its bearings, to basically get a sense for the actual wind, uh, any crosswinds, to basically uh, initialize the, the UAV. Now we actually want to fly the UAV and program it. And we see here we've got a a working radius of 500 meters. Basically, no matter what happens, the UAV will never leave that particular location. You can change this, which we have to, by going to this particular settings for the flight parameters. What we're going to do here is we're going to increase that to 
let's say 1500 meters um, just under one mile which is plenty and you can see this will not in any way go close to the airport we saw uh, earlier. We can also specify the maximum height that the UAV will go. We've been told uh, that the maximum height by air traffic control is 400 meters. Now we won't actually program the flight to go over the area that's been requested. So we're going to go over to this tab for the mission planning. And it's immediately when you've clicked this, you see that there's a default area that's already been uh, set up for you. Now you want to obviously modify this area by just dragging it um, like so. Uh, and modifying it as well. Now uh, we can certainly expand this basically to do this location here. Let's say this is the street. Anything above that is what the mayor has requested. Uh, there's within this area the hospital, uh, downtown Tacloban. Uh, now this does not approximate it so well. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to change the mission area from a rectangle to a polygon. And that's going to allow us to basically drag and drop some of these and define the flight area. Now I'm just doing this very quickly. Obviously, if we were on the ground and uh, needed to be more precise, certainly that is obviously an option. But for the purposes of this particular demo, I'm just going to keep it fairly roughly accurate. We've been asked to get a resolution of, of 10 centimeters. Uh, now that's three, four times better than any commercial satellite uh, will give you. Right now the default here is four centimeters. This is the flight path that the UAV will follow. Now we don't actually need four centimeter resolution. So we'll actually bump this up to 10 centimeter resolution. As you see, as I do this, flight paths, they don't have to be as narrow. They can actually fly a lot higher and thus cover a lot more area as a result. That is basically it. Here you'll see what your flight uh, plan will look like. It will just take one flight. Now what we want to do is we want to upload this flight plan to our uh, computer and this is now purely for simulation purposes. We just click on this taking off uh, launch button right here and you'll see our UAV been launched. You see here on the right it's now going in circles. It's uh, gaining altitude and just capturing some important readings. Remember we uh, made a flight ceiling of 400 meters and so it's never going to go above that. Now you see the UAV going to its first waypoint. Now this is not actually in real time. Uh, we've sped up uh, but if we wanted to actually just view the entire flight plan in uh, real time we would just go a lot slower and click on the play feature here. Now what you see with these rectangles, and if you hear that clicking sound, that is basically the camera that's on board the UAV taking pictures. And it gives you a sense of just how much area and what area uh, the picture, the camera is capturing as it is uh, following its programmed flight path. So let's go a little faster now as well. It's really as simple as that. You can also have the option of viewing the flight path before and during the actual flight on Google Earth. So this allows us to zoom in directly in the area uh, that we've designated for the flight plan. You can actually zoom in a bit more and uh, have a look from various different angles and let's see if we can actually spot the uh, UAV. Yep, it's right there. Now this is important information for a number of reasons, especially if you're flying in more complex uh, airspaces including having uh, mountains, hills and so on. You want to be able to get a sense of the elevation. And In the future I'm going to show you how to manage uh, some very mountainous areas for humanitarian UAV missions. 
Now, let's say that for whatever reason, uh, defective battery or other issue, we have to land uh, the UAV right away. Clicking on the go land function, obviously decreasing altitude right here as it follows the pre-programmed route. And remember that we specify this area, uh, devoid of structures, which is a plus, and also land against uh, the wind. So let's just slow to real time. The noise here just alerts you that the EV UAV is coming in for landing. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. And that's it. So here's the result of our mapping. You may recognize our takeoff and landing location up here. This is where we had taken off. The resulting high resolution map can also be printed on rollable waterproof banners and shared with uh, local communities and the local mayor's office.